So sometimes there can be more than one condition that we want to check. So in that case, we could use the else if statement. So again, we can use uh, the else if statement to specify a new condition if the first condition is false. And now let's look at the syntax. We can have a condition one with the regular if. And then we can have an else if and then check for another condition. And then finally we can have an else. So we can have um, more or one or more else if conditions that follows an if. We can have up to one else case in every time. So let's see an example. So we can specify time that's 22. Uh, so if time is, we can say if time is less than 10, we can say good morning. And uh, if time is less than 20, uh, that's roughly, that's uh, 8 p.m. In the, in, in the night. Uh, we can say good day if it's less than uh, 20 or 8 p.m. And else we can say good evening. So that's how we could build an if else if ladder. So let's continue with our yes example. So I'm going to save this as, before I make any change, I'm gonna save this as guess three. So I can keep my each of my copies. So what I want to do is, uh, what happened here is this, uh, we ask user uh, to enter a character or a letter or a key, then we check whether it's true or not, and then program ended. So the, the problem here is if, if it's not true, we might want to give the user uh, some type of feedback, whether they guess too high or they guess too low. So what should we do? We can say, if it's uh, CH is answer, do this and move on. Else if, I can put another condition here. Uh, then we can say, put our condition, uh, what if CH is greater than answer? So what do you want to do in that case? And we can have an else, which will fill it in a second. So uh, what I want to do is, I want to say, if it's greater than, we want to say, sorry, then we can say, you, you guess too high, okay? And then else, if it's not too high, then it can be too low, right? Then we can say, maybe copy the whole thing. Control C, Control V, you guess too low. So now we have feedback. So you either guess the answer, um, or you guess too high. If it's not too high, then it must be too low. So let's try this. I can go back, uh, find my guess two, change it to guess three, and then Java, yes, three. Right, we don't have something. Uh, the reason for this is we changed the file name, but we never changed the class name, so that's a mistake. So I need to change this to guess three. It's important that we do the mistakes too, because we learn how how to do it correctly. Uh, okay, let's try it again. So I'm thinking of a letter. Uh, can you guess it? K. Good. How about if it's J? Then say, sorry, you guess too low. J comes before K, so that's why it's lower than uh, K. So one more try. What if we, uh, we guess L? Sorry, you guess too high. 